Hello everybody, Gladman here. So today we're going to be working on part two of our ultrasonic box project. So now we've got everything set up that we need. So now we're going to give ourselves a little bit of space down here. And we're going to make a while loop. So that it will loop while the escape button is not pressed, which will exit the program. So we need to check for that. So we're going to do a call to the button class and then dot. And then we're going to start typing escape, use that, and then dot, and then we need to check and make sure that it is up so that we are looping while the escape button is not pressed, basically. Now we need to get an ultrasonic sensor reading. So that is going to be a float that is returned in meters. So we're going to make our own float variable. We're just going to call it distance, and then we're going to call it ultra calling our ultrasonic class that we've created, and then distance. So now we've got that. So now we can do an if statement and check if the distance is greater than 50. But not quite. What we want to do is use 50 centimeters. So 50 centimeters is actually 0.5 meters, just like that. And then we need to do that. So that will be uh, what happens when the distance is greater than 50 centimeters, or 0.5 meters. Now we need to do an else and then an if, so that we can check and see uh, if the distance is greater than 0.2 meters or 20 centimeters. So first it'll check this and if it is greater than 50 centimeters it'll do whatever is here and then it will check this and that's kind of uh, how you can do a little bit of elimination where you know that this will be between 50 centimeters and 20 centimeters because it, if it was greater than 50 centimeters it would be in here not in here. And then we have a final one that's uh, just an else. So if it's not greater than that, and it's not greater than that, then surely it's something else. So up here, what we want to do is make a call to our pilot. And what we want to do is we want to set our travel speed. And then this is inches per second um, that it moves. And let's just make this one 5 or now six. Here we want to slow down as we are getting close to a turn that we're going to do when we're less than 20 centimeters away. So we do another set travel speed and we're going to say set it to three. So that'll jump from six inches per second to three inches per second. And why it's inches is because that's what the unit we used up here. If we had used centimeters up here, all it cares about is ratio. So as long as you're always using the same uh, unit, you're good. So we used inches here, we use inches down here. If we had used centimeters up here, we would use centimeters down here. So now what we want to do is we want to make a call to stop the robot so that it doesn't move. And then what we want to do is we want to rotate. So we're just going to call the rotate method, and then we're going to just rotate 90. And then we're going to start moving again. So we're going to call the forward. Up here, before we get into this while loop, what we need to do is tell the robot to go forward as well, so that values are changing on the ultrasonic sensor. So that's our basic while loop there, and then when we press the escape button, what we want to do is we want to stop the robot. So we're just going to make it call a stop. And then we're going to do US and then close. So that we can close that ultrasonic sensor. So let's just say we wanted to use it later, we could. Um, it's just a very, it, it's much cleaner to do it that way. And then uh, that would be it for the program. So we've got our robot driving forward by default, and then while the button, uh, the escape button, is not pressed, 
it's going to get a reading from the ultrasonic sensor and then uh, check the distance and set our travel speed accordingly or stop and rotate 90 degrees and then start traveling forward again. And there is one thing that I just realized that we didn't do quite yet. So up here, we need a delay function so that we don't continually pull the ultrasonic sensor faster than it can go, uh, do a bunch of traveling in how we shouldn't be doing it, or whatever. So we're going to delay for a period of 5 milliseconds, and that would be 1,000, which would be 1,000 seconds, or 1,000 milliseconds per second, and then divided by 5, that would be 200 poles per second. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!